A group known as the Free Nigerian Movement has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to annul the February 25 presidential election and set up an interim government pending the conduct of a fresh election. Speaking at a press conference this Thursday in Abuja, the convener of the group, Paul Moses, noted that it was impossible to swear in the government on May 29 while there are lingering cases in court over the outcome of the recently conducted general elections in the country. This is why we have been marching for 10 days and now to call and awake our national consciousness to the barrage of illegalities committed during the presidential national assembly, gubernatorial and state assembly elections. We hope that the courts will have concluded hearing and pronouncement by May 29 to allow for the swearing in of a new president. However, in the event that the courts are unable to clear litigation before it, it lies within the legal right to direct President Muhammad Buhari to hand over to the Senate president, who will preside over state affairs until June 3rd, when he will hand over to the Chief Justice of the Federation to preside as interim president pending the resolution of cases and substantive precedents sworn in. All of this is within the bandwidth of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is the part to ensure that President Muhammadu Buhari remains within the limits of his lawful tenor, which elapses on 29th May 2023. Owing to the 60 days left of his tenor, cannot suffice to call for a new presidential pool. Should the courts heed the call of the vast majority of ordinary Nigerians and order for a new presidential election? Recall that on March 20, three out of the 18 political parties that participated in the February 25 presidential election filed their individual petitions against the outcome of the elections. Among the petitioners challenging the declaration of the All Progressive Congress APC candidates, Asuaju Bola Tinubu as winner of the election, are the Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Obi, Action Alliance AA and its presidential candidate Solomon Okungba, and Allied People's Movement APM and its presidential candidate Princess Chichi Oje on grounds of substantial non-compliance with the electoral law as well as the guidelines of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The petition has also alleged that the February 25 presidential election was characterized by huge irregularities and electoral malpractices following INEC's failure to electronically upload results immediately from its polling unit to the INEC result viewing portal. The group also called for the immediate arrest and prosecution of Professor Mohamud Yakubu, chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for allegedly supervising what they describe as a fraudulent presidential election, despite his countless promises of free, fair and credible elections to Nigerians. We'd like to remind you that Professor Yakubu's actions are also unconstitutional and that the public deceit is a crime. The fact that he still has a job in the commission is proof of how much we have fallen into the pit of illegality. No progress happens in any lawless society. As of today, Nigeria is within the full field of lawlessness because of the conspiracy or collusion to permit that fraudulent declaration will stand. May we reiterate our demand in the interest of public information and knowledge. Given the background of our explanation, within the time limit of President Muhammad Buhari, sack, arrest, detain Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. Cancellation of the presidential election of 25th February 2023. Yes. Declaration of an interim government. Yes. Compensation of the, all the victims of electoral violence and voter suppression. Yes. 
We have also called for the establishment of a Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Lagos and other flashpoints during the federal and state pools for the purpose of national healing.